Here in the UK, millions of small plastic pellets have been discovered on a beach near Portsmouth on the south coast. It's not clear where the microplastics have come from, but experts are warning they can release toxins with potentially devastating effects for marine life. Duncan Kennedy reports from Hailing Island Beach. They're called nurdles, tiny plastic pellets that have washed up in their thousands on Hailing Island. So many, in fact, that volunteers here have collected more than 20 sacks full of them. But millions of them, and we couldn't physically sit here and pick them all up. Despite that, one volunteer, Bianca Carr, says the nurdles keep appearing. And to give you an idea of just how bad the problem is here, take a look at this jar. In one small section of beach, two metres by two metres, one volunteer spent two hours collecting all these and found a total of about 1,000 of these nurdles. No one knows where these tiny white beads have come from. We're horrified by what we saw in terms of all of these tiny, tiny plastic nurdles which are about the size of a lentil and they're used in plastic manufacturing. They are everywhere around here, all around the shoreline. Nurdles are melted and moulded into everything from bottles to bin liners. But one survey found that through spillage and accidents, they found their way onto nearly 75% of Britain's beaches. The vast clusters found on Hampshire's shoreline has coincided with a BBC documentary on plastic pollution. It showed this Indonesian river choking in plastic. Six. Oh, look at that, yeah. Whilst on Howe Island off Australia came these disturbing images of what birds are ingesting. Oh, and look she... at that. Stomach full of plastic. One, two, three, 16 four, pieces of plastic. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Six years ago, this wasn't snow in the Pacific, but more nurdles washed up in a typhoon. Volunteers everywhere are cleaning up a worldwide deluge of plastic. But from Hong Kong to Hampshire, our seas, rivers and oceans remain in a fragile struggle with human activity. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News, on Hailing Island.